2050. Human footprints mark a historic moment on the rust-coloured surface of Mars. The planet's arid expanse becomes humanity's first steps beyond Earth, hosting the pioneering settlement of Cydonia. This settlement transforms into an industrial complex, diligently extracting valuable resources. Mars mining operations thrive, securing its place as a key resource hub for the United Colonies. The settlement of Cydonia, where towering structures touch the Martian sky, become a significant outpost in the settled systems. Players can explore its intricate streets, capture the essence of human ambition in an extraterrestrial setting. In the year 2100, amidst uncertain circumstances, whether propelled by choice or necessity due to Earth's ominous fate, humanity pioneers a life in space. As the remnants of a devastated Earth, symbolised by the ruins of St. Louis, reveal a grim future, this extraterrestrial migration stands a testament to our resilience and the enduring quest for survival. In 2156, humanity successfully arrives in the Alpha Centauri star system, situated 4.37 light years away from Earth. This distant system is composed of four planets and eight moons, and notably, it holds the distinction of being the closest star system to our own, Sol, which houses Earth. This momentous achievement is made possible in part by the innovative Gravitation Loop Field Array, a groundbreaking technological marvel that enables interstellar travel. This array harnesses the manipulation of gravitational fields, paving the way for the realisation of humanity's first colony beyond the boundaries of the Sol system. This heralds a new chapter in our journey of interstellar exploration and settlement, promising profound implications for the future of our species beyond the confines of our home planet. In the year 2159, the United Colonies are officially established within the Antari star system, solidifying humanity's presence in the distant realm. Just a year later, in the 2160, the foundation of New Atlantis takes shape, subsequently earning the honour of becoming the recognised capital city of the United Colonies by 2161. The United Colonies emerges as a dominant and influential entity within the Starfield universe, serving as a central governing body across the vast expanse of the settled systems. Operating under the principle of a centralised republic, the UC establishes a sprawling network of member colonies spanning multiple star systems. Distinguished for its formidable military might, the United Colonies stands as the preeminent military force representing humanity's strength. At the core of this influential faction lies its capital New Atlantis, a city born on the planet Jemison within the Alpha Centauri system. This thriving metropolis not only symbolises the epicentre of political and administrative authority, but also embodies the aspiration and unity of the United Colonies. The United Colonies, in their version, perceive themselves as Earth 2.0, the true descendants of their ancestral planet. This self-identification underscores the cultural and historical link they uphold, driving their pursuit of progress, expansion and preservation of human heritage in the uncharted territories of the cosmos. In 2167, the Cheyenne star system, also in the Alpha Centauri constellation, witnesses a momentous event as Solomon Coe, an intrepid explorer, establishes the pioneering settlement of Aquila City. This act cements Coe's legacy as the founding figure in Cheyenne's history and introduces Aquila City as one of the major urban hubs for exploration within the expanse of Starfield. 2188, a transformation event unfolds as Solomon Co extends an invitation to the Voli star system, marked by the vibrant city of Neon, to join forces in a new alliance named the Free Star Collective. This marks a pivotal divergence from the United Colonies' regulations and rules, following the prosperity of Aquila City as a thriving trading hub. Solomon Coe's ambition leads him to form a new alliance with two other star systems, including Voli, renowned for the bustling city of Neon, a prominent commercial and tourist hub within the galaxy. In the subsequent year 2189, the Free Star Collective is formally established, solidifying the alliance's presence and purpose. While the specific motivations for the breakaway for the United Colonies remains obscured, the decisive influence of their stringent regulations stands as a prominent factor. The Freestar Collective, in contrast, emerges as a dynamic and unconstrained entity reminiscent of the Wild West ethos. This audacious treaty unites three star systems under a shared vision, as they collectively navigate uncharted territories, paving the way for a new era of autonomy and self-determination in the ever-expanding cosmos. In 2194, a significant escalation unfolds as the United Colonies positions a space station named the Clinic in orbit around Dipala a planet situated in the Narian star system. This decision is met with scepticism by the unaffiliated inhabitants of the Narian system, who perceive it as the UC effort to expand their territorial boundaries. Faced with growing unrest, the Narian inhabitants demand the removal of the clinic, 
However, the UC's refusal fuels tensions, leading to the people of Narian democratically choosing to align with the Freestar Collective. This strategic shift prompts the Freestar Collective to mobilize in 2195, taking measures to safeguard the Narian system. The year 2196 witnesses a tit-for-tat response. The UC dispatches a fleet into the Narian system in reaction to the Freestar Collective's mobilization. As tensions mount, the Narian War ignites, marking a period of conflict characterized by escalation, confrontations, and rivalries. The war persists through the years, with public sentiment souring as the consequences of the conflict become increasingly evident. The prolonged strife culminates in 2216 with the signing of the Treaty of Narian, an agreement negotiated between the UC and the Freestar Collective. This historic accord brings an end to the Narian War and formalizes the term Settled Systems within its stipulation. Crucially, the Treaty of Narian enshrines a core principle. Both the Freestar Collective and the United Colonies commits to refraining from further colonization of additional star systems. This provision solidifies the boundaries of their respective territories and ushers in a new era of stability where the delicate balance between the two entities is defined by the landmark agreement. In 2221, a pivotal development emerges within the Freestar Collective as the Freestar Rangers are established. This distinguished faction serves as an elite force with dual roles, protection and investigation. Catering to the welfare of the citizens within the Freestar Collective, this formation marks a significant step towards ensuring the safety and well-being of the population across the diverse systems under the Freestar banner. An intriguing insight into the game's dynamic reveals that the Freestar Rangers are anticipated to play a substantial role, possibly akin to classic detective quests reminiscent of the characters like Valentine in Fallout. Notably, the developers have cited Donny Brasco, an FBI agent who undertook undercover work to infiltrate a criminal gang, as inspiration for them. This intriguing angle suggests that the Freestar Rangers might offer players the opportunity to engage in undercover operations in a detective-style mission. In the year 2275, Sebastian Banks establishes Constellation, an esteemed space exploration organization destined to shape the course of interstellar discovery. The original members of the pioneering venture include accomplished physicist Chloe Bao, the protege of Sebastian Ayamamasa, Darius Andris, an expert in xenoflora, Bernadette Laurent, an adventurous heiress, Everardo Gill, a former smuggler turned explorer, and Kadri Toma, a biologist and physician. To serve the organization for generations, the Lodge is constructed within the heart of New Atlantis, an enduring symbol of Constellation's commitment. Functioning as a beacon of exploration and innovation, Constellation earns its renown as a hub of space faders' endeavors. As it embarks on its journey of cosmos inquiry, the organization is driven by the enigmatic question, what lies beyond? However, by the year 2330, Constellation's prominence wanes considerably, adversely affected by diminishing enthusiasm for galactic exploration. The limitations imposed by the Settled System Agreement, which restricted colonization efforts, further contributed to the decline of the Constellation's allure. Operating in relative obscurity, Constellation gathers the moniker the Glass Group of Space Explorers with only a select few aware of its ongoing operations. Nevertheless, Constellation's commitment to unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos perseveres. As it navigates the challenges of a changing landscape, the organization's legacy endures, representing the indomitable human spirit yearning to venture into the great unknown and uncover the secrets that lie beyond the stars. In 2305, Barrett joins Constellation as an adventurer, scientist and explorer. He becomes the first member encountered by players at the start of the game, and is one of the longest serving members of Constellation. In 2307, the Three Star Collective initiates farming operations on Vesta, a planet located in the Lunara system. However, by the following year, the United Colonies asserts that this endeavour violates the Treaty of Narian due to the establishment of a new colony in a fourth star system. Diplomatic negotiations falter, leading to a critical escalation. In response, the United Colonies lay siege to Vesta in 2308 resulting in casualties among those who remained to protect the planet or were drawn into the conflict. This marks the commencement of the Colony War, an open conflict between the two factions with far-reaching implications. In 2310, a pivotal development unfolds for Constellation as they acquire the inaugural artifact, which is then secretly stored within the Constellation archives. These enigmatic artifacts are visually distinct with an otherworldly appearance, forming a central element of the game. Players will stumble upon these intriguing objects during their in-game exploration, 
While their precise nature remains shrouded in mystery, they serve as the focal point around which the main narrative of Starfield revolves, compelling players to unravel their secrets and contribute to the overarching storyline. In 2311, following years of prolonged conflict, the Colony Wars reaches its conclusion through the decisive Battle of Cheyenne. In this pivotal engagement, a fleet comprising both civilian and military vessels from the Freestar Collective employs hit-and-run tactics to effectively neutralise the major ships of the UC Navy. This strategic manoeuvre marks a turning point in the conflict, leading to the effective end of the war. The battle's outcome serves as a testament to the resourcefulness and determination of the Freestar Collective, signalling a transformative moment on the ongoing struggle for dominance between the two factions. In 2315, the United Colonies takes a significant step by establishing the UC Vanguard as a response to the Freestar Collective's utilisation of civilian ships during the Colony Wars. Designed as a counterpart for the Freestar Collective's approach, the Vanguard emerges as the UC's civilian navy, engaging civilians who pledge to safeguard the United Colonies and its interests using their personal ships. This initiative introduces a novel approach whereby civilian individuals contribute to the UC security efforts. With a notable incentive, those who serve are ultimately granted citizenship within the United Colonies. This dual-purpose arrangement underscores the UC's innovative strategy to secure its position and foster a sense of belonging among those who actively participate in the Vanguard's operations. In 2319, Sarah Morgan steps into the role of leading the UC Vanguard's Navigation Corps. However, her tenure in this position is short-lived as the division faces a closure in 2320. Undaunted by this setback, Morgan's determination leads her to Constellation, where she seeks to channel her skills and expertise in a new endeavour. By 2321, the landscape of Constellation is further shaped as Walter Stroud, a co-owner of the Stroud Eklund, a renowned starship manufacturer entity within the Saddle Systems, emerges as a vital figure. Stroud's involvement within Constellation extends beyond mere participation, as he becomes a primary financial supporter, infusing the organisation with the resources required to pursue its ambitions. The following year, in 2322, Vladimir Sal, a former pirate associated with the notorious Crimson Fleet, finds his way to Constellation. His unconventional background and unique skills contribute to the organization's diverse pool of talent, adding to a dynamic aspect to its composition. As Constellation continues to evolve, the year 2325 witnesses a notable change. Sarah Morgan, who transitioned from the UC Vanguard, achieves a remarkable ascent within Constellation. In just six years, she arises to become acting chair of the organization, a testament to her dedication and leadership prowess. This pivotal moment reflects not only Morgan's personal growth, but also Constellation's commitment to fostering and recognizing exceptional talent. In the same year, the theological perspective is introduced to Constellation's intellectual landscape with the inclusion of Matteo Catri, a theologian of significance within the organization's ranks. In the year 2326, Barrett uncovers the original artifact within the Constellation's archives. This discovery sets in motion a series of events that will likely shape the core narrative of the game, underscoring the pivotal role of these mysterious objects. Also in 2326 sees the convergence of a young and gifted scientist, Noel, who joins Constellation following months of correspondence with Sarah Morgan. By 2327, Constellation's roster expands further with the inclusion of Freestar Ranger Sam Coe and his daughter Cora. This addition carries significant weight, connecting Constellation's narrative to the legacy of the Freestar Collective's founder, Solomon Co., hinting at the intricate interplay of history and present-day events. In 2328, Andrea's entry into Constellation adds yet another layer to the organization's diverse talents. In 2328, Constellation secures the acquisition of Star Station L869, within the intention of transforming it into a sophisticated deep space scanner. This modified space station is affectionately referred to as the Eye, reflecting its role in exploring the vast cosmos. Notably, this space station, prominently depicts in the game's box art, stands as an iconic visual representation of Constellation's endeavours. The year 2330 heralds the commencement of the game's narrative. As the player embarks on their journey, they join the ranks of Constellation, delving into the intricate and immersive universe of Starfield, where exploration, discovery and intrigue awaits. This marks the opening chapter of the player's own odyssey, as they navigate the challenges and wonders of the cosmos within the context of Constellation's engaging narrative.